Hey, would you like to learn the void of course technique we talk about on the podcast often? Well, it's in Chapter 4 of the Book of the Moon. The audiobook is available now on Audible and on Apple Books. And this episode of the Fun Astrology Podcast is brought to you by the Book of the Moon audiobook. So pick yours up today and learn that technique and use it for yourself. Boom! And a happy new moon in Taurus to all of you. And you and you, it's May 7th, and we have a great new moon in the sky today. It takes place in the sign of Taurus at 11.21 p.m. this evening, and it will be at um, 18 degrees. The moon will be at 18 degrees, two minutes Taurus at the time of the full moon. And the full moon in lunar cycles is often used as a beginning point. Now, it's not etched in concrete or something like that. It's a suggested beginning point of the lunar cycle, the new birth. The full moon is the culmination. The new moon is the beginning. So tonight at 1121 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm going to release the interview with Steve Forrest on the Book of the Moon. So if you're in the Pacific time zone, you might catch it before you go to bed. If you're Eastern, you might be uh, well asleep by the time it comes out. You can catch it someday the rest of the week. But that will be the full interview, and it is wonderful. But (laughs) I thought, as we were saying, there's just not much else going on. The moon entered Taurus yesterday. There's no voids, of course. We don't have that until tomorrow. So let's break down some of this interview, and I thought I would dribble it out each day this week so that you could hear it in chunks, you know, the TikTok version, and then the long version will come out tonight. So here now is a little teaser from that interview. Is I'd love to know, and I've experienced a little bit of it just working with you around the edges, but how do you use the moon applied in your daily life? Or I say daily, I mean however you're, you know, whatever construct. Well, one very practical feature in in terms of my daily life, um, many people have heard of a phenomenon called the void of course moon. Uh, it's it's a situation that arises uh, every couple of days, basically, and uh, I'll, I can explain it technically if we, if we need to. But very simply, it's a, it's a little window of time in which anything you start is likely not to turn out the way you expect it to or intend it to. Um, you, can, you can use that positively. Like one, one interpretation of it is nothing will come of this. And, and so you, you don't want to get married under a void of course moon because you would like a long, happy life to come of it. I but, probably um, didn't I, know that back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably I didn't either. You know? But uh, to, just to complete the thought, uh, 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 filing your taxes, uh, when, you, when you drop that envelope in the, in the mailbox, you hope, okay, that's the end of it. I've washed my hands of this. I would like nothing more to happen as a result of filing my taxes. And so it's not accurate to call the void, of course, a negative time, but uh, it, it's it's something to be aware of. And in terms of the my daily relationship with the moon, before I do anything important, really literally anything that's important in my life, I, I check the condition of the moon. How long have you been doing that? Um, 30 years. Wow. Something like that, yeah. So Maybe you more. see a, you distinctly see a pattern, a correlation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Wow. That's amazing. Okay. Everybody's out scrambling now for their phone and getting out there. (laughs) (laughs) Chart program of choice. But, but of course, uh, technically, it's like, uh, you know, I want to have mercy on your listeners who are beginners here. uh, But basically, the idea is that the moon is in a certain sign. And as it sweeps through that sign, it forms aspects, you know, certain critical angles, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 120 degrees to the other planets. But at some point when the moon is passing through a sign, it gets later in the sign and it's not going to form any more aspects before it exits that sign. It's like done everything it's going to do while it's in that sign. And that's the void, of course, period. And it can, it can be minutes long, or it can be many, many hours long. It, it varies en- enormously. But that's the, that's the te- technical definition of it. It's as simple as that. 
The Book of the Moon is on audiobook, and it's available on Audible and iTunes. And a lot of people say, oh, I don't have an Audible subscription. You don't need one. Just go to Amazon and buy it there, and it will appear because you log in with, to Audible with your Amazon login. So it will be right there waiting for you, and no, the rest of your library will not get zapped. It doesn't work that way. That's how I buy audiobooks on Audible, and I've never had a problem with it. So just buy it from Amazon as a one-off, and you don't have to have the subscription. Or check the price on Apple Books. It might be cheaper there. We will see you tonight for the full interview, and then back here again tomorrow with more. So have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>